tell me what your name is. Amber Everett. Amber Everett. Now that sounds like a crazy name. It is. Came from my daddy. <laughs> That's where everybody's name from. So you're an agent. I am. With? EXP Realty. And how'd that come about? Um, I just decided one day I needed to be more independent, but have any support that I need in the background. So there I was. How long have you been with EXP? Been with EXP for about a year and a half now. Were you with somebody else before? I was. We don't have to talk about it. Okay, good. Because it's like, nah. But it's like a lot of people come over just because of the support and the independence. There's this like idea that just because we're EXP agents that we don't have any support. Which we is have 24-7 support, training 24-7, 365. I can pick up my phone and call my broker and have instant conversation. I know. And it's amazing because I was with another brokerage before and my parents sell real estate and they're with another brokerage and they're like, they wait for days or hours or, you know, I'm like, no, 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 no. And we have like this global network of people. So it's not just people in Tennessee, we can have contacts everywhere. with everywhere. So what market do you work in? I am in Chattanooga. And Chattanooga is in the eastern part of Tennessee. Correct. And what kind of real estate do you like to do? I mostly deal with land, but I deal with all expired listings. Mm -hmm. That's all I deal with. How many listings do you have right now? Currently I have 43, 44, three are pending right now. Mm -hmm. So how, like when you say land in Chattanooga, like what is that, how is that different than land in other parts of the state? Every area is different. Um, I deal mainly in Tennessee, but I also have some, I do have my license in Georgia. I can have a postage size, you know, postage stamp size lot for sale. I could have gated community. I could have 674 acres. I deal with land no matter how small or how big or where it's at. If people are coming to Tennessee and they're looking for land, what's some things that they should be watching out for or paying attention to? When you need the land to perk, you need to make sure that you at least have your electricity because a lot of places in Tennessee is septic and well. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the majors. So when you say the land to perk, like how do you know? I mean, if you're from another state, like. They have no idea what a perk test is. Perk test is making sure that your land has the correct drainage for the septic tank. Mm -hmm. And then you also have to have a separate person come out and drill for a well. Mm -hmm. So when they perk it, is that a company that comes out and does that? Or? It is. It is a company that will come out and they test the land. Mm -hmm. And is that done usually before or after one's for sale? It's done after one is for sale. It's during the uh, inspection period. You have, you know, however many days in your inspection, you would have these companies come out and do those tests for you and let you know. And if you have land that doesn't perk, what do you do with it? There's another option. Just because the land doesn't perk, there's always the mound option where you have like land that's built up on a sort of like a slope, not huge, but that can be your septic. So just because it didn't perk, didn't, that's not the end all be all. No. Oh, and if it didn't no. perk, it makes really good hunting property usually. And it does. It could be a place where you go camping at. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of different options you can use it for. What are the counties surrounding Chattanooga? Hamilton, Miggs, McMinnville, Bradley, Marion. This is the reason I ask. I always try to encourage people instead of searching for towns to search for counties, counties. Yes. because there's so many little towns within <gasps> each county that oh if you God. just search for county, you're going to miss like, or just search for a town, you're going to miss for half of it. You do. Mm -hmm. And if you're not from Tennessee and you want to live in the Chattanooga area, that's still a huge That's Hamil variety. Hamilton County, right? It's Hamilton County, but I mean, Marion County is just uh, e or west of. Mm -hmm. Chattanooga, that's a beautiful area. Sequatchie is just north. That's, I, my heart is in Dunlap, I'm sorry, but. I love that view. It's like when you come up 111 of that overlook, that's oh like. Oh my god! Did you put your lock there? It's like heaven. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lock there. Cause Dunlap does have my heart. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's like, I sold some land on the other side. And so it looks over the Sequatchie Valley from yes. the west. I guess it looks the east, but it's on the west side. 
And there's not too many places like that left in the world. I mean, it's like not. just open and flat. It's like you can almost see the glacier plowing through there. You can. You can You can imagine it when you're going across the 111 mm -hmm. as you're coming down. And then you do have the overlook on the left-hand side. It's beautiful. But then looking down from the opposite side, it's nothing but valley and mountain view for as far as you can see. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So that's Sequatchie County. That's Sequatchie. But if you go up Signal Mountain, you can go take a right, and that runs wreck around through that valley. It does. I don't. What is that area called? You go up Suck Creek. Yeah, Suck Creek. Yeah, and yeah. that just winds you, and that brings you down in Whitlow. And Whitlow. that is just like one of those real small little towns. But it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Because and I just want to. I just want to give somebody an address to my house. Like, <laughs> go left on Suck Creek. <laughs> Turn, turn right at possible. There's Friday. a really good restaurant as you're going across that creek. Oh, yeah. Before you go across, it's called River Drifters. Yes. The best food ever. My daughter saw her very first bar fight there. Did she really? Mm -hmm. That's our my daughter's favorite restaurant. Yeah, we went because we went, I don't know, we went hiking. And then that, we came back down and we stopped and we ate there. Me and Morgan and Bella and TJ. And we were in the back, you know, it's Friday night. And these two guys got in an all-out brawl. I was like, how perfect is this? We've had like a perfect outing, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, And they the got, food was good and the entertainment really, was their best. Their service is fantastic. Food is to die for. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What would you say if people are coming to Chattanooga area? Like, what would you say is something that you get asked for a lot by out-of-towners? They all have electricity. Really? I get asked that all the time. Is there electricity? Well, of course, we have electricity, absolutely. And our front teeth. Yeah, we have our front teeth too. And yeah, we do like sitting on our porch. We do drink a lot of sweet tea mm -hmm. and we just relax here. There's no rush at all. Yeah. None. But yeah, that's a hard thing for people to get, like no rush, just calm your ass down. Just well, and I went from that 90 hour work week to moving here and I was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Now I get the relaxation. I like rocking on my porch. I like rocking in my backyard. Just chill. Just chill. Welcome to Chattanooga. Just chill. Just chill. Thank you very much.